Hey there buddy, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today we're going to be doing a quick field test and overview of the Kershaw Camp Axe. You guys have requested it. This is the very first axe that we've ever done here in Gideon's Tactical. It will not be the last. So I figured we'd start out light with just a cheap, inexpensive option for those of you out there maybe looking for a little hatchet slash camp axe. Give you a couple basic specs. We'll start chopping with it and I'll give you my opinion on this blade. And what we have here is one solid piece of high carbon drop forged steel. I do not know the type of steel. I'm assuming because it's high carbon, it's probably a lower grade, so it gives it some toughness, probably 1055 or maybe 1075 drop forged high carbon steel. And it weighs in at 14 ounces, so that's a great carry weight, you know, just under a pound. You got 11 inches from the top of the head to the bottom of the handle. And again, one piece of steel, which is great, with just some craton you know, put over the, the handle so you're not gonna worry about breaking the head off or anything like that. And then it has a three and a half inch blade, uh, which has a really good edge on it. Factory edge was real nice and that little Kydex sheath we'll look at. So uh, let's go ahead and begin to test out the Kershaw Camp Axe. Very nice. Look at that. Timber. Sweet. Nice. So this is one thing that I'm noticing as I'm chopping is that this camp axe definitely stays in your hand. The, just the handle kind of has this little bit of a swoop and it is not wanting to fly out. I've really got a good grasp on it. They give you a lanyard hole. It comes with just the shoelace, which is what I'm using. Works fine, but uh, the ergonomics are really good on the handle. I'm not getting any really hard vibrations, but I'm not having to constantly try and like re-choke up on the handle because it just naturally just wants to stay in my hand. So wheat. Okay, so they give you a polymer plastic, very inexpensive, very thin sheath for your Kershaw Camp Axe. The axe just kind of slides into place here. There we go. And then it's just kind of got this flap right here with a big strong button, clicks over into place. Then you have some lashing points for paracord if you wanted to, you know, lash it to a pack or something. And then on the back side here, they have a belt loop. It's not a clip, it is a belt loop, so you'd have to feed your belt through there. But you could, you know, put it on packs and different things like that. You can see here is the blade inside there, and again, the button is what keeps it kind of in place. So, I mean, it does the job. It's not bad, but it's just very thin, flimsy plastic, and I can see over time it's just wearing out, cracking, and breaking. So eventually, if you, this is going to be your axe for a while, you're going to probably want to replace this with just, you know, a basic leather sheath or something like that. Because uh, once you know, once you use this a few times, I'm sure over time this is going to start to warp, crack, and ultimately break because of how thin the polymer plastic is. But for the time being, it does the job. Okay, so one of the other tasks you can do with an axe, again, it's not really the best design for the blade, but you can choke up. And I like the design of this head because I can get my thumb over that kind of hammer back there. So now I can do some minor carving if I have to. Obviously a knife is going to be way better at this. But if I have to do some of this carving with my axe, I broke my, my knife or, you know, I lost it in the snow, whatever, I can do some minor carving with this little axe. It's not the most comfortable, but I can do some of this. And again, that's the edge. They, they did a really good edge with this little camp axe. Kershaw knew what they were doing. Put a good little axe head and edge on this guy. Nice. You always want to remember, do about 45 degree, 45 degree, and that gets you some really good bites in the wood that you're chopping at. Very nice. And always remember, put yourself level with what you're chopping. I'm on my knees right now doing this chopping. You know, don't stand up and try and do this. If you miss, you're gonna hit your shin really bad. And this just gives you more leverage for your chopping. Heck yeah. It's 
making short work of this piece of wood. And this is about the size that you're going to be able to take care of with this little hatchet, this Kershaw Camp Axe. Uh, it's about the size of the blade, so about three and a half inches, four inches, more than that. And you're just going to need a bigger axe, or you're just going to have to take a lot more energy than probably you need to. Let's see here. Jackpot. Sweet. Okay, so I want to show you a simple way you can use a small hatch or a camp axe to split wood. That's very, very safe. All you do is you get your piece of wood you want to split, you put your camp axe just up against it, then you lift it up together and slam it down at the same time. Just like this. There we go. Now we got a little notch. There we go. Yeah. It's a very safe way to break up your wood. There we go, right there, just like that. Split it right down the middle, do it again, boom. Now we got some kindling for a fire, do it again. See it right there in the middle, just line it up, boom. Now I'm breaking up this piece of wood, similar to what you would do with batoning, but this is just very safe and easy. You don't really have to worry about technique all that much. There we go, see again, you just split it, crack it open, got some more stuff for the fire. All right everybody, so you've seen this in action, and again, this is our very first axe slash hatchet review here on Gideon's Tactical. As uh, I hone my skills, you guys will see me honing my skills, and uh, as we progress and get better and better axes, uh, I do plan on getting uh, the Mora outdoor axe this year and going to do a review on that and we got a lot of other ones that are coming down the line so we will be doing some hatchet and axe reviews for $25 which is what I paid it is made in Taiwan so it is an overseas produce this is a tough little guy with a great little edge holds its edge well an okay sheath you know better than say just a really crappy nylon one or no sheath at all I know some axes just don't even come with one or it's a little clear plastic one like a Coleman one uh, at Walmart, and I would say this would definitely be better than that, and those really uh, inexpensive Gerber ones as well. We've used in the past uh, some of those really inexpensive smaller Gerber hatchets, and this one's just tough, man. It chops really well for that 14 ounces, just as good as any you know 15 or you know one pound knife. Definitely chops as good, if not better, than my BK2, and uh, is for $25. You can't really beat the price point and the durability of the full tang one piece of high carbon steel little uh, Kershaw camp axe. So I hope this reviews helped you guys out if you're looking for a little camp axe and you got 25 bucks to spend this would totally be worth a purchase for you thanks for watching everybody stay equipped stay prepared and we'll see you out there